Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the RC Explained channel. I hope all of you are doing very well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can actually lock your differential using quite a familiar product out there in the healthcare sector, and it's going to be relatively easy to do. Now, there's a few reasons why you'd want to actually do this, and one of the biggest things, I have a radio-controlled vehicle right here with me, and this vehicle is a 1 8 scale buggy and one of the biggest things that you might be able to pick out in the video here is that my tire has ballooned causing some significant damage to the tire and it's on the front end of the vehicle. So one of the biggest things that I want to do to this specific vehicle is be able to control that wheel spin in the front by sending more power to the rear and that's why we want to lock our differential you know within this video. Now there's also some significant advantages to doing it using the method that we're going to be talking about today. It is one of my most favorite methods in order to lock a differential. There's many ways to do it out there. People are doing it in different ways. Let me know in the comment section below if you choose to do it in the way that we're describing here today or if you have another method that works just as well, maybe even better, you find for your specific application. The product that I prefer to use actually comes from the local drugstore. So this is it. It is the Life brand but there is tons of different brands that make essentially the same exact thing. These are known as soft silicone earplugs and they work extremely well for our specific use for these. Now I'll take it out of the package here so you're going to see exactly what's in here. You get about 4 times 3, 12 pieces here and only one or two should be more than enough for your differential. If you have a 1 -fifth scale you might be using more on the high end or high end of that range or so but this should last many vehicles not just one vehicle, which is pretty good because this does cost about $10 Canadian to buy this package. So not too bad considering the diff oil that I was buying was actually more than that. So let's list out the four major advantages that I see using this type of product. When we use this product, the biggest advantage here, as we mentioned, is cost. $10 a pop, I can get a whole bunch of diff locking kits in one package. It's truly amazing. And then the second advantage that is quite significant is just the pure availability. It takes me about 45 minutes to get to my local hobby shop, and of course that's a lot of time getting there and getting back and of course it's gas you know with the cost of gas constantly going up and down and fluctuating you never know what how expensive it is going to be and I eliminate that by just going a couple minutes down the road so this is a big advantage for me as well and probably for most and then the third advantage here is the ease of actually getting into it and locking your differential using this type of product it's not nearly as messy as it would be if you're using differential oil because we're working with a solid and we're not working with a liquid. And then the final advantage here that I feel is quite significant is that this process is entirely reversible. All you need to do is break back into your differential by taking out the screws, taking it all apart and pulling all the pieces of silicone earplug out and then you have essentially restored it back to its factory condition and none of this should damage it. We're going to now jump into the process. What I've already done is taken the differential out of my radio control vehicle. This process is going to be different dependent on each one of the types of radio controlled cars that you actually have. We're doing the center differential here. Yours is probably going to be different. However, the inner workings of a differential is essentially the same. So that's where it's going to be identical and we'll go through that together here on the table. Now another point worth noting here is that there are a couple different ways you can do this. Some prefer to take all of the existing grease out or existing oil or whatever you're using there out of the differential so that when you put the silicone in it is going to go in an open space and one of the bigger reasons is that the silicone doesn't really mix well with oil and chances are the oils that we use can break down the silicone and make a little bit more of a mess. So my preference is is I like to use a paper towel I've already done that I've gone in I've removed as much as I feel comfortable with 
width of the oil. I do like to leave some oil still on the gears. They are metal gears and I do prefer to keep them coated to a certain degree, but I don't want oil sloshing around in there and deteriorating the earplug. So this is a couple different approaches you can take. You can completely dry it out using even brake cleaner or you can take the approach where you can use a small, can keep a small film of oil or grease inside there. So now let's get started and take a look at the differential and start packing it with this silicone earplug. So here is the differential pieces that we have. I've already gone ahead and pulled the four screws out of the differential so I can split these in half and now we have access to the inner workings. I have one of the side gears already out. The inner side gear on the other side is of course underneath of these spider gears. Now I also want to take out from our package a silicone earplug here. So I'm going to open up the package and grab one. I've got greasy hands and I've already kind of touched this so it is a little bit bit discolored and pulled apart but when you grab one of these silicone ear pieces they are quite soft and they're very pliable you can really shape them into a, a good shape that's gonna fill a bunch of voids inside of our differential and that is key when it comes to being able to lock the differential so what you'll want to do is you'll want to break this eventually into small pieces and place it inside the differential but first before we get to that what we do have to do is pull out this spider gears here so we can get to the other side and begin to pack the differential on that that location there. So we do have now the side gear back in the differential case and I want to drop one of these spider sets back in here as well just so I can begin to pack around one of these and know exactly where I need to hit. So there we have the side gear and now we can begin to pull off. I'm going to just wipe my hand off here a little bit. A little bit of grease still on the gears from the other side. I didn't clean the other side all that well uh, but we're going to pack that now with with our silicone earplug. So I'm gonna grab a chunk of the earplug and I'm gonna to begin to shaping it in the side there in the area where I can totally see that it's going to you know, conform to the cavities that are existing inside of this differential case. And it's gonna be about four different areas that we can squeeze this into. So there we go, we're pushing it in there. I'm gonna use about two more of them. Grab a couple more slices here and just feed it into that pocket move it around grab another very easy to pull this apart and insert it in here very very easy so I got one more side to place it into okay so I got a bunch in the bottom now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the spider gear here the last set I'm gonna drop him in and push them down and get the gears all in the right locations. I'm going to push it into place. There we go. Pushing it into place because there is a little bit of the silicone earplug in its way. So I did have to push it into its place. Now what I'm going to be doing is filling this. I'm probably going to use the rest of this whole entire earplug and I'm going to get another one. And now we're going to go and place this in and we can just squish it in there into the cavities that we find. Anywhere we can get a space, we're gonna fill it with this earplug. So it looks like it's doing pretty good there. Okay, so we got it filled to a good degree and now we can actually test whether or not we're happy with this. So we can put this in and we wanna squeeze that down to the best that we possibly can. And then what I'm gonna do is try and rotate. So I'm rotating now the end gear and I can't actually rotate it at all. So it does seem like already we're locked. So we have a couple choices. We can try and further pack it tighter or we can leave it as is. I think this is pretty good for what we're after. We got a whole entire piece inside here and this is not a very large differential. It's a 1 8 scale, it's not huge, but it definitely could take a little bit more if we really felt the need to pack more in there. I think right now for the power that we're actually gonna be running within this vehicle, that this is going to be okay. So I can now go ahead and begin to place the rest of this differential here on the side. So we're going to do that. We're going to center up this pin so that it can be directly inserted. We're going to match up the pin location and then we just press it on there and we're good. Now we can squeeze this on. So it did drop into place there. 
That should be perfect. I'm getting all four of these screws in position. I think I have it nailed down now. It gave me a little bit of trouble trying to line everything up, but a little bit of patience helps here. There you have it, guys. We're essentially locked with our differential. It takes a significant amount of force, and I can't rotate this in order to actually get it to move. So I know that I am a lot better off compared to where I was with the factory fluid that was inside of this center differential. Now, if you're looking for a more pure lock within your differential, you will definitely want to pack that differential as tight as you possibly can so that there are no air gaps. You will need more of the ear pieces put in there in order to do that. You also may want to consider instead of going for one of the soft silicone earplugs that you look for one that is not as soft. So there are differences on the market for these types of things. You just have to buy it based on what you're doing. One fifth scale has a lot of power and will need something a little bit stiffer and you'll need to be patient with filling those cavities inside the differential. I hope you guys found this interesting and I hope that you're able to use it for your own radio control vehicles. Let me know. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.